the disaster in the Gulf. It is now day 85, and BP has a new cap on the blown out well. The next 48 hours of tests will tell us if the company has finally found a way, though, to stop the spill, which is, of course, what everyone wants to know. CBS News correspondent Mark Strassman is on the Gulf Coast in Grand Isle, Louisiana. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Erica. Of all the uh, fixes so far, this is the one that is showing the most promises, uh, most promise. And so far, so good. BP engineers have managed to guide uh, underwater robotics and put the new cap on this well and new hope on this coast that this spill could soon be brought under control. A mile beneath the Gulf, BP's new cap is on, anchored to the runaway well. It's BP's biggest gamble yet, one it hopes could stop this spill. I know we've made some mistakes along the way, um, but we're committed to uh, do everything we can to earn back our reputation. BP will now measure the well's integrity by closing its valves to test the well's pressure. Results could take up to 48 hours. If pressure rises, the well is sealed. That's the best case scenario. All the oil is trapped under the cap. But if pressure falls, the well's leaking somewhere. BP would add another cap and try to divert leaking oil to surface ships. But during the testing, ships like the Helix producer and rigs like the Q4000 would stop collecting oil. This is the elegant solution. This is the right equipment. All of the other top hats and everything have been sort of jury rig solutions. But even if this new fix works across the Gulf, places like Dauphin Island, Alabama, many people say high time. The prettiest beaches in the world, as far as I'm concerned, are suffering because of this because of the lack of doing something. Today's big development will be the pressure test of this well with its new cap. The testing will go on for at least six hours and possibly 48, and the results will dictate BP's containment response for weeks ahead. Erica? Mark, thanks. Mark Strassman on the Gulf Coast this morning. A lot happens early on The Early Show, weekday mornings on CBS.